Hello friends, welcome to Health Vizac, Medical Concepts Simplified. In this video, we will learn about invasive modes of ventilation. In invasive ventilation, patient is connected to ventilator either via endotracheal tube or tracheostomy tube. Endotracheal intubation is putting an artificial tube in trachea via mouth, whereas tracheostomy is putting a tube in trachea through an artificial opening created in the neck. As soon as we start the ventilator, we have to select some basic setup like mode of ventilation, patient type, idle body weight to initiate the ventilation. If you want to know more about ventilator basics and terminologies, please click on the i button on the right top corner of the screen or click the link given in the description box below. Invasive mechanical ventilation comprises of following modes. Assist or control mode, dual mode, SIMV or synchronized intermittent mandatory ventilation mode, support mode and advanced mode that is present in specific machines only. Assist or control mode comprises of volume control ventilation and pressure control ventilation. Dual mode comprises of pressure regulated volume control ventilation. SIMV mode comprises of volume control plus pressure support mode, pressure control plus pressure support mode and pressure regulated volume control plus pressure support mode. Support mode comprises of volume support ventilation and pressure support ventilation. Advanced mode comprises of bivent, NAVA mode that is neurally adjusted ventilatory assist and APRV that is airway pressure release ventilation. Now let's have a look at each one of them in detail. First one is volume control ventilation. In this mode we have to set tidal volume, frequency, peep, rise time, inspiratory trigger, FiO2, IE ratio and pause time. In volume control ventilation, volume of air delivered per breath is fixed. Pressure changes as per flow trigger or inspiratory time and lung condition. Breath initiation is time triggered in control mode and patient triggered in assist mode. It should be used when patient has no spontaneous breathing or patient should be sedated and paralyzed. Advantages of this mode includes delivery of desired tidal volume, whereas disadvantages include barotrauma as the pressure may increase if resistance increases and lung compliance decreases and breath stacking. Next is pressure control ventilation. In this mode, we have to set PC above PEEP or pressure control above PEEP, frequency, PEEP, rise time, inspiratory trigger, FIO2 and IE ratio. In this mode, ventilator delivers breath at a set pressure and set rate. Breath initiation is time triggered in control mode and patient triggered in assist mode. It should be used when patient has no spontaneous breathing or patient should be sedated and paralyzed. Its advantages include avoiding high peak inspiratory pressure, hence lowers the risk of barotrauma, whereas disadvantages include non-delivery of set tidal volume and minute ventilation. Next is PRVC or pressure regulated volume control ventilation, which is one of the most commonly used ventilatory modes nowadays. In this mode, we have to set tidal volume, frequency, peep, rise time, inspiratory trigger, FIO2, inspiratory time, maximum and minimum pressure and maximum volume. It's a kind of control mode which allows both pressure and volume control. In this, a preset tidal volume is delivered at a set rate with the lowest possible pressure. It should be used in patient with no spontaneous breathing. Its advantages include guaranteed minute ventilation and it avoids breath stacking, whereas disadvantages includes less control over tidal volume. Next is SIMV pressure control plus pressure support mode. In this mode, we have to set PC above PEEP, frequency, PEEP, rise time, inspiratory trigger, FIO2, inspiratory time, pressure support settings and apnea settings for backup ventilation. In this mode, ventilator delivers mandatory breaths at set pressure which are synchronized with patient's spontaneous efforts. This mode is very helpful during weaning process. Benefits or advantages of this mode includes better synchrony with the patient. This reduces the risk of hyperventilation and alkalosis, whereas disadvantages or risk include non-delivery of desired tidal volume and minute ventilation, increased work of breathing, rise in mean arterial pressure, reduced cardiac output and breath stacking. Next is SIMV volume control plus pressure support mode. In this mode, we have to set tidal volume, frequency, peep, rise time, 
इंस्पिरेटरी ट्रिगर एफ आई आर टू इंस्पिरेटरी टाइम प्रेशर सपोर्ट सेटिंग्स एंड एपने सेटिंग्स फॉर बैकअप वेंटिलेशन इन दिस मोड द वेंटिलेटर प्रोवाइड्स मैंडेटरी ब्रेथ एट सेट वॉल्यूम विच आर सिंक्रोनाइज विद पेशेंट्स स्पॉन्टेनियस एफर्ट्स दिस मोड इज वेरी हेल्पफुल इन विनिंग प्रोसेस बेनिफिट्स इंक्लूड बेटर सिंक्रोनी विद द पेशेंट्स रिडक्शन इन द रिस्क ऑफ हाइपर वेंटिलेशन एंड एल्कोलॉसिस वेर एस रिस्क इंक्लूड नॉन डिलीवरी ऑफ टाइडल वॉल्यूम एंड मिनट वेंटिलेशन इंक्रीज वर्क ऑफ ब्रीदिंग increase mean arterial pressure reduction in cardiac output and breath stacking next is smv prvc plus pressure support mode in this mode we have to set tidal volume frequency peep rise time inspiratory trigger fio2 i ratio ps above peep settings and apnea settings for backup ventilation it's a kind of mode that allows control of both pressure and volume settings in this mode The ventilator delivers preset tidal volume at a set rate with the lowest possible pressure, thus avoiding the risk of barotrauma. This mode is very helpful during the weaning process. Its advantages include guaranteed minute ventilation and reduction in the breath stacking, whereas risks include non-delivery of preset tidal volume sometimes. Next is pressure support ventilation. In this mode, we have to set PS above PEEP, PEEP settings, rise time, inspiratory trigger, FIR2, inspiratory cycle off time, and apnea settings for backup ventilation. It's a mode of positive pressure ventilation which is very useful during weaning process when patient has spontaneous breathing. Its benefits includes better synchrony with the patient, risk include non-delivery of minute ventilation, increased work of breathing leading to fatigue and hypoventilation, and air trapping. in copd patients next is volume support ventilation in this mode we have to set tidal volume rise time inspiratory trigger fir2 peep inspiratory cycle off time and backup ventilation setting it's an assist mode of ventilation in which ventilator delivers set tidal volume as soon as the patient triggers breathing however if he fails to do so ventilator goes to backup ventilation this mode is very helpful during weaning process Next is bivent mode also referred to as APRV mode in some machines that is airway pressure release ventilation mode in this mode we have to set p high t high peep t peep fir2 inspiratory cycle off time inspiratory trigger ps above peep inspiratory rise time ps above p high it's a partial support mode that delivers pressure control time cycle ventilation it also augments spontaneous breathing of patient its benefits include better synchrony with the patient and low risk of barotrauma whereas risk include chances of volume trauma and increased work of breathing leading to fatigue next is nava or neurally adjusted ventilator assist mode it's an assist mode of ventilation in which ventilator delivers breaths in synchrony to patient's efforts via electrical signals received from the diaphragm muscles normal nava level ranges between 0.5 to 3 for invasive mode and is lower in non invasive mode in this mode we have to set nava level peep fio2 ad trigger inspiratory trigger inspiratory cycle off time ps above peep and backup ventilation settings this is an assist mode which is very helpful for pediatric age groups its benefits include better synchrony and reduce need of sedation and avoids dynamic hyperinflation of lungs so friends this brings us to the end of this topic hope you find this information valuable and applicable in your clinical practice please do like and share this video and hit the bell icon for more latest videos and for more such informational videos on medical topics please subscribe to youtube channel healthwise medical concepts simplified thank you